the question is same how we gonna assign 4.29 billion ip addresses to these 21 billion devices for that let me just arrange them first so we can better draw the pictures here let me just take them this side all right now let me just keep this one as well a little bit upside perfect okay now to assign these ipv4 addresses to these many devices we categorize or we define we assign them in two different groups the first one is the public ip and the second one is the private ip these are the two different ip addresses which is assigned to each network for example if we consider a simple example like we have two different network network one network two and here we have third network as well between the router one router three and the router two these routers also creates a network and this network has the public ip address now the question comes who's gonna handle all those public ip address who's gonna assign the ip address right and who's gonna maintain the ip address allocation and all everything so this is done by the iana organization so iana stands for internet assigned number authority and the ip addresses are divided into different continents so you can see there are different registries these are called as rir which is considered as regional internet registry regional internet registry and here we have a total of five different registries here each one consists of a different continent or a large section of area you can say for example the ethnic is purely consists of russia india europe kind of areas right and this has a huge range of ip address allocation so this iana what it will do it will simply allocate a range of ip address of different classes to each and every registry and here we have a total of five registries so you can say let's say we have a total of 128 it would be divided into five and you can say each one of them will get somewhere around 25 ip addresses from each class not the average part but again depending on their consumption and depending on the few other factors as well the ip address range would be divided into these five registries now the question comes how they gonna be assigned so if you take a simple example here like we have these two networks and whenever we send a packet from this network one to let's say somewhere in the internet like google or youtube or any facebook twitter any particular platform the packet is always passed from user machine to the internal network router then the isp router then to their isp and then to the internet right now the public ip is usually assigned to the ip address now the public ip is usually assigned to the router which is controlled by the isp here the public ip is assigned to the isp and then let's say for this particular isp the range is from 120 to 125 what will isp do isp will allocate a public ip to each of their 
router which they can control and then this router will create a private network so this would be our private network private network 1 and private network 2 right so this isp router will create different private networks so they can communicate with the internet for example whenever this network one or network two users will browse any website for example let's say google.com right google will always receive the packet from the ip address which is assigned to this router 3 suppose the ip address for this router is in the range 124.20.20.15 if this is the ip address assigned to the router then for all these users in private network 1 and private network 2 google will consider them as a single user because the packet the traffic is received from a single ip right and that's how a different private networks are created under a public network up to this isp or the public router we have a public network and under this isp router we have different private networks and all these private networks are usually created with help of the net now net stands for network address translation so network address translation is a protocol you can say which has a different other structures or the methods as well for example if you have a single ip address and you want to bind it to a single private ip address as well it would be referred as a net it means we have single public ip and then i want to bind it to a single private ip it means i want to send packets coming to a public ip to my private ip this is usually considered as a net but if we have multiple private networks or multiple private ips in that case it would be considered as pet which again stands for port address translation in which case we have one public ip but on the other hand we have multiple private ips or you can say multiple private machines right in our case we can say we have multiple machines under the private network so instead of net the router 3 is using the pet which is port address translation in that case a single public ip would be mapped to the unique port which is controlled by the router 3 here and if they want they can also use it dynamically as well they can shift between net and pet according to their requirements that can also be done now this net and pet this translation these are simple methods that can be used to map a public ip to a private ip right but the question comes if this whole range this range 120 to 125 is assigned to this isp and isp does not need these many ip addresses right in that case the ip addresses would be lost there is no use for those ip addresses just to overcome that what they do they perform the subnetting and the supernetting 